played it to Bork and it got by him again. Burray hustles after it. He's got a breakaway over the blue line. Cuts to the net. What a play! Burray scores! Went off his stick to his skates, back to his stick. That's a practice goal. You only do that at eight rinks, but he did it here, and it's one nothing Vancouver. You know, looking at this this wall of jerseys, between these jerseys, these actual jerseys that you designed, uh, there's some great art, some original art. There's a really cool uh, painting of Pavel Bure. Who, who did that? Uh, well, that's Douglas Fraser. He's a fantastic artist. He's done Time magazine cover right. eight times. He moved out west, and he thought it was cool that he had done this painting, and I had designed the jersey, you know, long before we'd met, and he decided that I had to have this painting, and, <laughs> and yeah, it was perfect. His Soviet-inspired artwork. Yeah, it is very much that uh, the workers control the means of production kind of art. I don't know. There's a name for that art. Constructivist? Keep there. I'm going, that sounds good. Industrialist? <laughs> Now, uh, uh, above the Doug Fraser, Pavel Bure, you've got some of your own yeah, some, works, which are quite large. On the, on the left are a pair of maple leaves, and the room is uh, in constant evolution. So mm -hmm. at some point, I, I probably will do Burroughs and Luongo, Linden and McLean paintings. Or you know, maybe the Canucks will actually win the Stanley Cup one day. And Easy there. Okay. I could do you know, a painting to celebrate that. But would you believe it? It's uh, Howie Meeker. Howie Meeker. Howie Meeker. Well, a and young Howie Meeker. Teeter Kennedy is on uh, mm -hmm. the left, the captain of the Leafs. Right. And brush cut uh, Howie Meeker. That stop it right there. Like a hoop around a barrel. <laughs> we all know him as uh, the great color commentator. But did you know the year Gordy Howe was a rookie? Gordy Howe didn't win the rookie of the year. Rookie of the year, uh, Howie Meeker, and it was during the war because everyone was at war. I, I don't uh, know. That adds I never up. liked Howie Meeker, so I'm not going to say anything <laughs> good about him. You know, Lauren says that uh, he went to Howie's. Uh, he's one of our hockey teammates, and uh, he went to Howie Meeker's hockey school. <laughs> Parks and uh, he, didn't, he didn't have lots of nice things to say about well, Howie. Well, you always seem like an intense guy. Uh, you've captured him there uh, in his intensity. And what I love about the him and the Teeter Kennedy, the, the vintage sort of it's almost like sepia tone, black and white, is the the beautiful old rink with the old boards? Yeah, I I love the, the texture mm -hmm. and you know, all, rip, all the nails in it. And long before the advertisers got yeah. a hold of those boards, those boards would hurt when you were knocked into them. No, uh, there's no give to those. Actually, both of them signed those paintings, so that's oh, that's one, nice. You know, before Teeter Kennedy passed away. Mm -hmm. So, and then on the right side are a pair of bobbies. So it's uh, Bobby Hull after a milestone goal. I actually met Bobby Hull. Uh, I knew he was coming to town, so I finished this painting, and it's still wet. So I tried to get him to sign it, and Sharpie wasn't working on the right. wet paint, so he signed the back. Yeah, yeah. Bobby Hull, you know, he uh, there's a legend when they won the Stanley Cup in 1961. It was the only time during his era there that the, the, the Hawks won it. And he didn't kiss the cup because he thought there'd be so many more. Really? Funny. But with, yeah. without his teeth there in that picture. So. Well, what's funny is he, he says, uh, Why didn't you paint me with teeth? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I thought that was so odd. It's like, why would I put... And I've seen there on my website, uh, <laughs> Gary McLaughlin has done paintings of Bobby Hull and he always has the teeth. Really? I, I think he has a relationship with them. To me, for him to have the vanity, the toothless grin is so Canadian it's and so it would iconic. be a shame. The painting on the right, the other Bobby is the young Bobby Orr when he was with Oshawa. Yeah. I love the brush cut, the big ears. And uh -huh. for me, I've always loved the economy of brush strokes and thick paint and yeah those yeah, are really wide big strokes eh? it like gives it a real texture a real ruddiness i i don't want the paintings to be photographic and uh, i'm quite happy with how the painting isn't overworked uh -huh. 
But it, it, it gives it a bit of a, a texture. It pops out a bit. It's like butter. <laughs> the paint's like butter. You love painting hockey players. What is it about hockey players uh, that <laughs> makes it worthy of taking the time to make a painting? You know, I was doing illustrations and getting paid to do these paintings. And sometimes there'd be so much direction on what the client wanted. I kind of reflected back on what did I love doing when I was eight? And what I loved doing, I draw hockey players. <laughs> and so I just decided to revisit that. And, you know, one thing led to another. And often I was painting for this room. It led to a bunch of commissions. And some of the paintings in this room on the goalie wall, those are just prints of originals that have all been sold. They're your gods, too. And if you can paint them, that somehow brings you closer to them or... Gives you some insight into them, maybe. You're a bit of a fanatic. You noticed. <laughs> Bobby Hull has just scored number 50. The Golden Jet driving at center. I don't know if that's number 500 or not. That was it. Bobby Hull, 500 soul. And the crowd.